it was something that was completely preventable. Attorney Anna Greenberg walked me through the events that allegedly took place in the early morning hours of March 24th. This is a case where a hotel failed to provide basic security to one of its hotel guests. And unfortunately, it resulted in my client, a uh, guest at the hotel, being sexually assaulted. According to the lawsuit and an arrest affidavit, Greenberg's client decided to book a room at the Doubletree by Hilton in Northwest Austin to celebrate her 21st birthday. She ended up meeting and drinking with another group of guests at the hotel bar. At one point, one of the women noticed she appeared very intoxicated and offered to take Greenberg's client to her room. Um, and when she went to find her room key, she couldn't find it. So she went to the front desk and reported that she had lost her room key um, and they issued her a new key or she thought it was a new key, but it was actually just a duplicate. The two women were in the 21 year old's room when a man from downstairs appeared to use her lost key to come in, saying he wanted to help. The woman assisting Greenberg's client told him to leave before making sure the 21 year old was OK and leaving herself. And she actually went down to the front desk and said, did you issue that young man a key to this woman's room? And they said, no, we didn't. But, you know, we've been very suspicious of him all night. Um, and still at that point, they didn't void the lost room key. And later that night, Greenberg's client says that same man came back into the room and raped her. Zachary Nadzak has since been arrested and charged with sexual assault. But Greenberg says the hotel also needs to be held accountable. She showed me the Hilton security manual, which states that a new key should replace the old one so that it will no longer work after the new key is inserted into the room lock. Their failure to void a lost key caused her to be sexually assaulted.